Hello everyone, this is Soul Sweat with Julia and I am Julia and I'm here today with a flow and go. So this is going to be when you don't have a full hour for a power class, but you want to get your sweat on and uh, get the body stretched out and strengthened in a short period of time. So if you have two blocks, I would love for you to grab two blocks today. If you don't have two blocks, you know the drill, soup cans, water bottles, something that you have to provide a little extra hamstring length. Um, we're going to get started in Supta Baddha Konasana. So laying back onto your mats, <laughs> take the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall open. Let's bring one hand to the heart, one hand to the navel. And take a couple moments here as you blink the eyes closed. Turn the attention inward. Let go of the world outside. Anything that's gone on so far in your day, or maybe it's first thing in the morning for you. Just allow yourself to tap inward. Quick check in. How are you doing today? What are you feeling? And where are you feeling it? And start to tap in a little bit deeper, moving into the breath. And as you do, start off by taking a nice deep inhale in to fill your breath all the way up to the top. Anything you need to release or let go of, nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Let's do that again. Inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Anything you need to release or let go of, big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Next breath. Inhale, fill all the way up to the top and pause. Seal off the lips. Press the air back out through your nose. Start to turn that breath into the ujjayi breath as you do drag the breath in through the nose. Slightly constrict the back of the throat. Press the breath through the heart and down into the belly with your inhale. Exhale from the navel through the ribs, the throat, and back out through your nose. Keep finding this breath here in through the nose, deep into the belly, exhaling from the belly, through the ribs, the throat, and back out through your nose. Continue to find this breath about two or three more rounds as you slow it down for the count of four to six seconds. Right now, while you're here breathing, I want to set an intention of gratitude today. So I want you to think about something, someone that you are grateful for. And keep them with you through this practice. And maybe think about a couple things that you are grateful for about this person or thing. Feeling how it immediately allows the body to soften. Maybe have a smile as those lips turn up. This wonderful gift that we get from gratitude, it automatically changes the perception of the world that we see. So remembering as we flow here today, there's always something or someone to be grateful for. And allow it to change your perspective, not only on your mat, maybe in the challenging moments, but in life, those moments that are challenging where maybe they feel, maybe where you feel a little less hope or a little dimmer just remembering those things that you're grateful for and allowing it to shift your perspective. So right now, as you welcome this person or thing into your mind, this energy of gratitude into your heart, let's take one more nice deep inhale in to fill the breath all the way up to the top. One more time, nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Next breath, take the hands outside the knees, lift the knees up towards the ceiling. Hug around the shins, gently rock side to side, release your lower back. Taking some circles with the tops of your knees in one direction. Sweep those circles back the other direction. And drop the feet down onto the ground. Let's take that right leg. I want you to cross the right foot on top of the left thigh. Thread the hands through the triangle of the leg. We're going in to thread the eye of the needle actually right away. Just get a little stretch in those hips. Let's take an inhale here. And as you exhale, draw that left knee in towards the left shoulder. Send some breath 
to that outer right hip right now. I know it's early in the practice, so maybe you're feeling this a little bit more than you would at the end of the practice. Let's take one more nice deep breath here. On your next breath, take your right leg, cross it over your left thigh, and weave the arms. Let's take that right elbow over the left elbow. So going into eagle arms, if it doesn't totally work, bringing the palms together back to the hands or grab for the shoulders. And then if you can, wrap that right foot around the left calf doing that. We're gonna get into a little bit of core work here. Inhale, you tap the toes and the fingertips down to the ground. So fingertips overhead, toes down, inhale. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders, elbows and knees come together. Inhale, tap it out. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, tap. Exhale, elbow and knees meet. And let's continue to find this. Inhale, exhale. I want to keep you going here for about 20 to 30 seconds. Inhale, exhale, navel to spine each time. Using the core to bring you in each time like that belly button is being pulled to the spine with a string. Exhale. You've got it. Stay with it here for four. Three. Two. And one. And then pulse those knees and elbows together. Pulse it in. In. Exhale. Yes. Eight. Seven. Six. Stay with it. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it. One more breath. And go ahead, release that, unwind the arms, unwind the legs in between thighs, just let the feet come down, maybe a little rock rock in between the knees, side to side, let the arms, the palms fall up towards the ceiling. And bring the knees back into center, take the left foot, cross it on top of the right thigh, weave the hands through the triangle of your right leg. And shift that right knee just outside the waistline. Inhale here. Exhale, right knee in towards the shoulder. Allowing the shoulders to soften down the back, away from the ears. And breathing into that outer left hip. Keep the tailbone lengthening towards the earth. One more breath here. And then... On that next breath, unthread the arms, take the left leg, wrap it all the way around the right. If it's available, hook those toes, tee the arms out to the side, inhale, exhale, right elbow underneath the left elbow for those eagle arms. And then if you can, palms together, back to the hands or shoulders. Inhale, tap the toes, tap the fingertips, keep that belly button pulling in so we're not super arching off the mat here. Exhale, elbows and knees come together. Inhale, tap it, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Keep that going. Inhale, exhale. You've got it. Stay with it. Yeah. Pull that belly to the spine. Each time you contract, each time also try to get the fingertips and the toes down to the ground if that's available in your body here today. Keep this going. Pulling the forearms away from the face as you lift up, getting that stretch through the back of the body. Yeah. We've got this here for four, for three, two, and one, and then pulse it at the top. Pulse it in, in, and stay with it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it on one, four, Three, two, one, let it go. Unwind the arms, let the palms fall up. And again, maybe a little rock of the knees side to side. And from there, I want you to take the knees over the hips, hands behind the head. Take an inhale as you exhale, lift the head and shoulders, twist over to the left. So we're going into some yogi bicycles. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Yeah, inhale, exhale, twist. 
hey, if we're gonna do a short flow, right? <laughs> or a shorter flow, we might as just start it off with some core work, getting that body heated up and fired up, right? Why not? Yeah. Inhale, exhale, twist, keep it going. We're going for eight, seven, six, five. We've got it for four, three, two, and one, and then double time, twist it out. Go, go, go. Yes, stay with it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it to that right leg on one little pulse up. Kick that right leg up, that left leg out. Send both hands outside that right leg and lift it up an inch. Exhale, little ch and ch stay with it. Ch ch keep it going. Exhale for four, three, two. Hold it there on one for four, three, two, one. Bend the knees back to center. Inhale, exhale to that left side. Both hands outside. Extend that left leg up, right leg out. Pulse it up. Exhale, little ch. And ch, you got it. Stay with it. Stay with it here. Ch, ch. Keep it going. Keep it going. You're almost there. Stay with me for four, three, two, and one. Bring it back in through center. Yes. Hug those shins in. Take the hands behind the hamstrings. Start to rock yourself along the length of your mat. Massage your spine. Pick up some momentum. And rock yourself all the way up and over onto the hands and the knees. Once you get there, wrists line up underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. Next, inhale straight away. Drive the heart forward through the shoulders, tailbone to the sky. Maybe pausing a little bit longer in this cow pose as you roll the shoulder blades down the back. Lift the collarbones towards the ceiling in front of you. As you exhale, tuck the chin, dome through the spine. And give your head, your neck a little shake out. Yes, a little shake out. No. And once again, inhale, lift the heart forward, tailbone rises. Exhale, tuck the chin, dome through the spine. Let's take about five or six rounds of cat-cow. Maybe you're swaying the hips on the way, the shoulders. Maybe rolling out the neck. I always like to roll out my neck as well. Just finding the movement that feels authentic for you here today. Take two more rounds of breath, wherever you are. If you are circling in one direction, making sure that you circle back the other direction. And bring it back into center, neutral spine. Keep that left hand right where it is. Take an inhale, extend your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread right arm underneath the left. So coming into thread the eye, different thread the eye. <laughs> we have thread the eye, the needle, thread the eye with the arms. And send that left arm out and overhead, plant through the palm, rotate that left armpit down, that bicep wraps up, tricep towards the earth. Take an inhale and as you exhale, rotate from the waistline, twisting open, getting into the back of that right shoulder, deltoid, rhomboid. And yeah, just keep the hand down for now. Take one more breath here. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna have you stay right here and extend that left leg back. So maybe you keep that left foot on the ground. Maybe you float that left foot up. Yeah. I know a lot of times we have that left arm wrap. Just allowing yourself. I find that this sometimes help to, helps to actually get deeper into that stretch in the back of the body to keep the left hand down. So just take one more breath here because you can use that traction to help you. And drop the left toes down, soften the left knee down, extend that, or excuse me, plant down through the left palm, unthread the right arm, inhale that right arm up. Let's take some circles, sweep that right hand to the back and around, and send that right arm towards the front and around. Beautiful. Right hand comes down to the earth. Inhale, lift the heart forward in between sides, cow pose. 
Exhale, tuck the chin, dome through the spine, cat pose. Bring it back into neutral. Inhale, left arm lifts to the sky. Exhale, weave that left arm underneath the right. Come onto the side of that left cheek. We'll shift the hips back, that right hip pulls back. Left slightly forward, keeping the hips even, low back even. Extend your right arm out, plant through the palm. Again, find activation here. Wrap that bicep up towards the ceiling, tricep towards the earth. Allowing this traction to help you twist a little bit deeper from the waistline and into the back of the body, the flats. Yeah, just take one more breath here. And then again, bring that right hand down. This time extend the right leg back. The toes stay down as an option, or if you're feeling it, maybe you're playing with floating that right foot up. And driving through that right heel. Keeping that left glute in. Take one more breath here. Staying with one gaze point will help you to stay balanced. And then dropping the toes down, soften that knee back to the earth. Replant through the right hand, unthread the left arm, inhale, and then find some circles. Sweep that left hand to the back. And circle it back to the front. Beautiful, bring the left hand back to the mat. One more time, inhale, lift the heart towards the sky, tailbone rises. Exhale, tuck the chin, dome through the spine. Come back into neutral, let's plant down through the palms, tuck the toes, hover the knees one inch off the mat. Again, just firing into that core, planting down through the palms, draw the navel in, roll the shoulders down the back, take an inhale here, exhale, hips up, chest back, downward facing dog, Pedal out the feet, walk it out. Bend the right knee, send the left heel down. Bending into the left knee, send the right heel down. And a couple rounds of breath as you need, pedaling out. Maybe little twists. Yeah, maybe you're getting some snap, crackles, and pops. And on your next breath, glide the body forward, high plank pose before you get totally settled in that dog. Get those shoulders lined up right over the wrist. As you push the earth away, navel in, front ribs lift to the back of the body. Keep the heart gliding forward, tailbone lengthening back. Take one more inhale here without moving the hands or the feet. Hips up, chest back, downward facing dog. So keeping that true down dog distance. Again, as you plant through all 10 fingers, pop the forearms up, little micro bend to the elbows, bicep spiral in towards the ears, forward towards the wall in front of you. Triceps wrap to the outer walls and the world behind you. Feel that expansion through the upper back. Maybe pick the sit bones up a little higher. Maybe the heels a little closer to the earth as you hide them behind your second toe. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, rolls the body forward, high plank pose. Feel free to drop the knees if you need to. Shoulders shift over the fingertips, lower down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Building some heat, a little more heat, I should say, in the body. Inhale, glide it forward, high plank. Shoulders over fingertips, drop the knees if you need. Lower down halfway, chaturanga. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, elbows pin in. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. One more time. Sliding forward, high plank. Lower down, halfway. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take an inhale here. Exhale, crawl the hands back to meet your feet at the back of your mat. Let's keep the feet hip distance apart. Interlace the knuckles at the lower back. Take shoulder opening stretch. Soften the knees, tip the body weight towards the balls of your feet. Letting the crown of the head hang towards the earth. Mm, take one more breath here. Do work those palms a little closer to touch. Like you're trying to hold your own hand. Let the hands come to the lower back, switch the interlace so the opposite thumb is on top. And then once again, send those knuckles up and over. Put a little bend into the elbows and then close the palms. Let's bring the palms closer as you send the knuckles up towards the sky. Tipping the body weight slightly there towards the balls of the feet. 
Letting the crown of the head dangle towards the earth. One more breath. Release the hands all the way down. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen the spine. Ardha Uttanasana, pull the heart through. Exhale, walk the hands out, downward facing dog. Inhale, slides the body forward, high plank. This time, shoulders over fingertips, slow with control, all the way down to the mat. When you get to the bottom, untuck the toes, walk the hands back, wrists line up alongside the upper ribs. Press into the tops of the feet, lift the heart, low cobra. Bring those big toes, big toe knuckles together. Exhale, lower down. So again, press into the feet, activate the legs, shins lift, heart lift, low cobra. Exhale, lower down. One more time, pressing up for low cobra, floating the hands, feel the strength of your spine, your mid back, and exhale to lower down. Plant down through the palms, tuck the toes, lift the knees, the thighs, inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next breath, slides the body forward, high plank. Shoulders over fingertips, lower down halfway, chaturanga. Flip over the tops of the feet, this time coming into upward facing dog if you're ready for it. Up dog, shins floating, thighs floating. Fasten your shoulder blades together as you slide the heart through, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Svanasana. As we piece this vinyasa together once again, glide the body forward, high plank. Lower down halfway. Flip over the tops of the feet, heart lifts, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Next inhale, right leg floats to the sky. Exhale, right knee into the nose. Step the foot in between the hands. Soften the left knee down to the mat. And crawl the hands up the belly of your right thigh. So we make our way into low lunge. Maybe press a little bit more to that top of the thigh. Get a deeper stretch into the hip flexors and the psoas. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, rise the arms up. Kiss the palms together overhead, lift the heart. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your right foot. Tuck your left toes under. Step the left foot to the top of the mat, Uttanasana. Straight into it. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen the spine. Ardha Uttanasana, pull the heart through. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, press through the feet. Sweep the arms overhead to standing. Palms kiss at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart as you make your way down. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen Arda. Exhale, keep the left foot forward, step the right foot back. Melt that right knee down to the mat, then crawl the hands up the belly of that left thigh for a low lunge. Left hip pulls back, right forward. Lift those frontal hip bones up to the chin. Breathe. Nice. Softening the shoulders away from the ears. Take one more breath here. Next breath. Inhale. Circle the palms to kiss overhead. Exhale. Hands down on either side of your left foot. Tuck the right toes under. Kick that left leg back. Maybe it's floating. Ekapada as you lower down Chaturanga. Flip over the feet. Heart lifts. Upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Next inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Exhale, left knee into the nose. Step the foot through. Soften the right knee down. This time, one breath. Inhale, arms up, low lunge. Palms come together. Exhale, hands on either side of your left foot. Tuck the right toes, right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen Arda. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Sweep the arms wide to standing. Palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Exhale, flat back, dive you towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen, pull the heart through. Exhale, bend the knees and step that left foot back. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, Anjayasana. Palms kiss at the top. Exhale, circle the hands on either side of your right foot. Tuck the left toe, kick that right leg back. Lower down halfway. Flip over the tops of the feet, lift the heart upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Next breath, inhale, high up onto the balls of the feet. Look at your hands, step or hop light to the top of your mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen, Arda. Pull the heart through. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, press through the feet. 
Sweep the arms overhead to standing. Palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up to the sky, sun A. Exhale, hands to heart as you melt your way down. Inhale, lengthen, Arda. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step if you're ready for it. Floating back, landing in Chaturanga. Flip over the feet, lift the heart, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Anu Mukha Svanasana. Take a nice deep inhale, fill the breath up. Exhale, big sigh, let it go. <sighs> Once again, inhale, fill the breath up. And exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> mm. Take one more breath here. Coming into that place of gratitude once again. Feeling gratitude in this moment. Maybe if the mind's starting to go other places. On your next breath, inhale high up onto the toes. Bend deep into the knees. Look at your hands again. Step or hop light to the top of your mat. Inhale, fingers to shins. Pull the heart through, Arda. Exhale, folding in. Tight bend the knees, sit the hips low, chair pose, utkatasana, arms rise. Pull those shins back a little bit further towards the wall behind you. As you sit down deeper, peel the heart up higher. Draw the navel in, soften the front ribs to the back of the body. Press through the balls of the feet on that big toe side. I want you to activate those inner thighs. Keep them hugging in together. Take one more breath here. Next breath, press through the feet all the way up. Inhale, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bend your knees, hips sit low, chair pose. Inhale, palms once again meet. This time exhale, hands to heart, pop up onto the balls of the feet, diamond out the knees, and slowly lower down to the ground. Yeah, so you have the option right now of just hanging out right here in this malasana, maybe crawling the fingertips forward, rounding through the spine. Your core is already fired up, so if you're wanting to play with bakasana crow pose, now's the time, plant down through those palms, Get the knees up into the triceps, shift the weight forward. Maybe today you're playing with floating one foot up at a time. Maybe you're getting both feet up as you lift that core up, navel to spine. Yeah, gazing out over the top of your mat. When you're ready for it, you'll walk, step, float it back. Feel free to take your vinyasa or skip it. And we'll meet together in downward facing dog. Next breath, set the feet all the way together. Inhale, float that right leg up to the sky, turn the toes out, bend the knee, open up the hip. Take some circles, circle that in one direction. And circle it back the other direction. Keep that left hip crease lifting up towards the sky behind you. Right knee stays open, inhale. Exhale, right knee taps your right tricep, get it up nice and high. Inhale, drift it up and back, bend the knee, open up the hip. Exhale, spiral across the body, right to left tricep. Inhale, float it up and back, bend the knee, open up. Exhale, right knee into the nose and step the foot through. Pivot your left heel down on its side, warrior two, as you fan to rise. And then deep into that right knee, get it over the ankle, pick that right hip up, lift those hip bones towards the chin. Put a little softness into that left knee, drive through the left heel, as you power that leg straight, activating those inner thighs, I want you to squeeze them together to help grow you towards the sky above. Yeah. Let's take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, right palm flips to the sky, stretch it back, reverse your warrior, grow your side body nice and long. Keep that right knee bending over the ankle. Rise up, warrior two. Slide the upper body forward. When you can't go forward anymore, right forearm down, Left arm up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open. Maybe you're here. Maybe you grab a block and bring it inside that right foot. Bring those fingertips either onto the block. Maybe they're on the earth. Maybe they're just hovering, pressing that inner, uh, that elbow into that inner right thigh. So the inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist open. Take one more breath here. Ground down through the feet, rise it back up, warrior two, inhale, dance it back, reverse it. This time straighten your right leg. Let's bring the body upright. Moving into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Lift up, shift those hips back, slide the upper body forward. I want you to keep pulling that right hip crease up and back. 
as you tick tock forward. And when you can't go forward anymore, right hand onto a block or onto the shin. And if you have that block, I recommend bringing it outside the leg so we're not collapsing the chest forward. You have a little more ability to lengthen. So with the inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale again, rotating open from that waistline. Okay, put a little softness into that right knee. Press through the heel as you straighten out the right leg. Keep the ball of the foot on that big toe side down. One more breath here. Next breath, I want you to send that left arm alongside the ear. Maybe you're here, maybe you send that right arm alongside the ear. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale, twist the heart up towards the sky. Take one more breath like this. Next breath. Part the arms, re-bend the right knee, warrior two, inhale to reverse it, dance back. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat, pivot the hips down, dip the hips, lift the heart, inhale here, exhale, standing splits, left leg high to the sky. Half lift onto the fingertips, right thumb hooks that right hip, pull the right hip up towards the ceiling behind you, and exhale to melt it in. Breathing, maybe you take that right hand around the calf, maybe the left hand around the calf. Keep that left pinky toe spiraling towards the earth. Take one more breath like this. The next breath, release the leg if you have it. Half lift onto the fingertips, bend your right knee. Step the left foot to the top of the mat. We go into chair pose once again, inhale. This time palms come together, exhale hands to heart center. Lengthen through the spine. Next exhale, twist, left elbow outside your right thigh. So we're getting into that Pavrita Ukatasana. Chair pose, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, open a little bit more. Try to get the booty lower than the heart. Once again, inhale, grow long, and exhale, twist it open. Take one more breath like this. I want you to stay in this chair pose, twist. Gaze down at the top of the mat. Pick up onto the ball of your left foot and hug that left heel up towards your booty. Slow as you can, start to extend that left leg back behind you. Yeah, keeping that elbow hooked outside that right thigh. Maybe hovering just above the earth. Take one more breath here. Next breath, giant but light step into twist, twisting crescent. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist it open. Maybe you're here, maybe you part the arms. If that's available or calling to you today, inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, rotate open from the waistline. Let's keep that left hip, left thigh lifted and active. Take one more breath like this as you hug that right glute in. Next breath, now letting those hands come down. Inhale, crescent pose, palms come together at the top. Exhale, circle the hands on either side of your right foot. Kick that right leg back, high plank. Maybe it's floating as you lower down halfway. Flip over the tops of the feet, lift the heart up, dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Svanasana. In between sides, inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Exhale, big sigh, let it go. <sighs> Once again, inhale, fill it up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> Take a couple more rounds of breath here. Nice deep inhales, nice full exhales. Maybe thinking about something you're grateful for here in this moment, helping shift your perspective. We'll take one more breath like this. And on your next breath, step the feet together. Next inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Turn the toes out, bend the knee, open up the hip. And take some circles, circle it out in one direction. Circle back the other direction. Left knee stays open, inhale, exhale. Left knee taps out, left tricep nice and high. Inhale, kick it up and back, bend the knee, open up the hip. Exhale, spiral, left to right tricep across the body. Inhale, three-legged, bend the knee, open up. Exhale, left knee into the nose, and step the foot through. Drop that right heel down on its side, warrior two alignment, and you blossom to rise. Left toes straight forward, right toes slightly forward. 
And let's lift that hip up off the thigh. A little micro bend to your right knee. Press through the outer edge of the foot to seal it out. Notice right now if the toes are scrunching up. If so, pick them up, fan them out. Press through the bottoms of the feet to stay active here in the legs. Keeping that gaze out over your front left middle finger. Take one more breath as you hug that left glute underneath you. Next breath, inhale, left palm flips, stretch it back nice and long, reversing your warrior. Rise it back up, warrior two, slide the upper body forward for as long as you can. When you can't go forward anymore, left forearm down, right arm up to the sky. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist it open. And then again, maybe you're staying here, maybe you're taking that hand, left hand onto a block, or inside the left leg. Maybe those fingertips are floating. You're pressing that left elbow into the inner thigh. That inner thigh so actively back into the left elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale from the waistline. Rotate open. Keeping that gaze up at the top hand for one more breath here. Next breath, ground down through the feet. Rise it up, warrior two. Inhale. As you paint the sky, reverse your warrior. This time, straighten into the left leg. Bring the body upright as we move into triangle pose. Maybe you're heel toeing that right foot in a little closer if that makes sense for you. I want you to lift the hips up and back as you slide the torso forward. Take one more breath, lengthening towards the front. When you can't go forward anymore, tick tock that left arm down, right arm up. Put a little micro bend into your left knee, then drive through the heel. As you straighten out that left leg. If you need the block, I want you to take that block underneath your fingertips. Maybe you're bringing your hand to your shin or your ankle. And watch that that outer edge of the back foot stays sealed out while your left quad stays lifted. One more breath here. Gazing at that top hand. Next breath, send that right arm alongside the ear, matching what you did. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you extend that left arm alongside the ear. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate the heart open. Actively pressing through that left leg, pulling that left hip crease back. Take one more breath. Next breath, part the arms. Rebend the left knee, warrior two. Inhale to reverse it. Exhale, spiral the hands down to the mat. Pivot the hips down. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, standing splits. Right leg high to the sky. Half lift onto the fingertips. Left thumb into that left hip. And exhale, fold it in. Like drive through that right leg. Pinky toe spiraling down. Maybe you're finding your balance here today. Taking one arm around the calf, the other arm. Take one more breath wherever you are. Next breath, release the hands, half lift onto the fingertips, soften that left knee, step the right foot to the top of the mat, into chair pose, glute katasana. Inhale, palms meet at the top, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen, and into chair pose, twist. Right elbow hooks outside that left thigh. Yeah. Inhale, draw the heart towards the wall in front of you, and exhale, rotate open. Actively push those palms together to help you find that twist a little bit deeper. Pull that left hip crease back and hug that left glute in. Take one more breath here. Next breath, gazing down at the mat or just in front of your mat, pick up onto the ball of your right foot. Hug that right heel in towards your butt. I want you just to hover there. Keep hugging that left glute in and activate the core to keep you lifted. And slowly start to extend that right leg back, driving through that right heel. Again, hugging that left glute in. Take one more breath. Giant but light step back, twisting, crescent. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, rotate open from the waistline. So match whatever you did on that first side. Maybe you stayed here. Maybe you took those arms, parted them. Yeah, keep lifting that right hip and that right thigh up so we're not over dipping and rotating from the low back, but finding more of that rotation from that mid 
back area. Let's take one more breath like this. And without letting those hands come down, rise it up, press and pose, inhale, palms together. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your left foot. Kick your left leg back, high plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Flip over the feet, heart lifts, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Tell me all about it, big sigh, let it go. <sighs> Once again, inhale, fill it up. Big sigh, let it go. <sighs> Take a few moments, drop the knees, big toes together, child's pose. Nice deep inhales. Nice full exhales. <sighs> Take one more round of breath here. We want to dance it out now. If you're happy in child's pose, you're more than welcome to stay here. Otherwise, planting through the palms, tuck the toes, lift the knees, downward facing dog. And step those feet all the way together. Inhale, right leg floats to the sky. Turn the toes out, bend the knee, open up the hip. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, lift it up and back, bend the knee, open up. Exhale, right to left. Inhale, kick it up and back, bend the knee, open up. Exhale, right knee into the nose and step the foot through. Pivot the left heel down, warrior two as you fan to rise. Straight away, dance it back, reverse it. Exhale, side angle. Right forearm down, left arm up and over. Inhale, reverse your warrior once again. Straighten into the right leg, bring the body upright. Shift the hips back wide, the chest forward, trikonasana, triangle. Three, bend that right knee, rise it up, warrior two, straight back, reverse it. Inhale, exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat, pivot the hips down. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, standing split. Half lift onto the fingertips, bend the right knee, step the left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, fingers to shins. Exhale, fold it in, bend your knees, hips sit deep, chair pose, kiss the palms together. Exhale, left elbow outside your right thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open. Shift the weight into the right foot, pick up on the ball of the left. Let's extend that left leg back. Giant but light step back into twisting crescent. Inhale, rise it up, cross and pose, palms kiss. Exhale, hands on either side of your right foot. Kick that right leg back. Feel free to take this vinyasa or skip it. We'll meet together in downward facing dog. Next inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Turn it out, toes out, bend the knee, open up. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, lift it up and back, bend the knee, open up. Exhale, left to right tricep. Inhale, kick it up and back, open up the hip, exhale, left knee into the nose and step it through. Drop that right heel down, warrior two, as you fan to rise. Inhale, dance it back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle, left arm down, right arm up and over. Inhale, reverse it one more time, straighten into that left leg. Bring your body upright, trikonasana as you shift the hips back. Slide the upper body forward. Three, bend that left knee, rise it up, warrior two, straight into reverse. Exhale, spiral the hands on either side of your left foot. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, standing splits, right hip, leg high. Half lift onto the fingertips. Soften the left knee, right foot steps to the top. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen. Exhale, folding in. Bend the knees, hips sit low, chair pose. Palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart. Do so you hook that right elbow outside the left thigh? Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open. Shift the weight into the left foot as you pick up on the ball of the right. Hug that right heel up. Kick that right leg back behind you. Giant but light step, twisting crescent. One more time, inhale and exhale, open. This time, rise it up, crescent pose. Inhale, palms meet at the top. Exhale, hands down on either side of your left foot. Extend that left leg back. Feel free to take it or leave it. It's your final vinyasa here today. Nice deep inhale, fill the breath up. Exhale, 
Tell me all about it. Lion's breath, stick out the tongue, scrunch up the face. <sighs> Once again, inhale, fill it up. Lion's breath, let it out. <sighs> Drop the knees, big toes together. Child's pose. <sighs> Take a couple moments, let the heart thump. <sighs> breath flow. Nice deep inhale. Nice full exhales. Let's take one more breath here. Nice breath. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Stacking the spine when you get to the top. Shift the hips up to the right. Legs around to the left in front of you. All right. Make your weight all the way forward. And shift your right hip back, left hip back. Right and left. Flex through the feet, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, arm right. <laughs> can't talk. Rise the arms up overhead. Glide the heart towards the toes. When you can't glide forward anymore, exhale, folding in. Paschimottanasana. Maybe you're letting those toes flap forward if that's what's calling to you. Otherwise, finding that active stretch, pulling the toes back, pressing the heels forward. Letting the shoulders soften away from the ears. Take one more breath here. And slowly roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. Send the fingertips forward. Pull the toes back. Rolling up to roll all the way down for the count of six. Slow and controlled for five. Four. Three. Two. All the way down on one. When you get to the bottom, hug your knees into your chest. Hug around the shins. Little rock side to side, releasing your lower back. And let's drop the feet down. Middle fingers graze the backs of the heels. We're just going to do one bridge pose here. So press through the bottoms of the feet. Keep those toes pointing straight forward. Lift the hips up. And walk that left shoulder under the body, right shoulder under the body, interlacing the knuckles at the lower back. Pull the knuckles forward. Find this rainbow of energy from the heart to the world behind you. And press through the balls of the feet on that big toe side. Keep those inner thighs active. Take one more breath here. Next breath, release the inner lace. Tap a bunch of the balls of the feet, heels high and slowly lower down to the mat. When you get to the bottom, hug your knees in, hug around the shins, rock it out side to side, release your lower back. Take the knees outside the waistline, reach for the outer edges of the feet, happy baby pose. Yeah. Maybe you're finding some stillness in this happy baby pose. Maybe you're Finding movement, if that is what you need right now. So just be mindful that the movement isn't to get out of the sensations that you might otherwise feel in Happy Baby. And keeping the tailbone lengthened towards the top of your mat. Let's take one more breath here. Next breath. Hug those knees back into the chest. Tuck around the shins. Again, little rock side to side. Take a nice deep inhale. Lift the forehead up to the knees and squeeze everything into a tiny little ball. As you hug up higher, squeeze in tighter. Take one more drink of air in. Exhale, sigh it out. Let it all fall open. <sighs> and make your way into Shavasana, your final resting pose.
deep breath, wiggling into the fingers, into the toes. And let's take a nice deep inhale, stretch the arms overhead, stretch from the fingertips through the toe tips. And gently turn the head from side to side as you wake up slow. And with the eyes closed and the knees, rock over to the right side, pausing in a fetal position. Just taking a moment, acknowledging this shift from the start of practice until right here, right now. With your eyes closed, pressing up to a cross-legged seated position on your yoga mat. Taking the palms together at heart center in prayer position, Anjali Mudra. As you return back into you in these final moments, checking back in with your breath and your heartbeat. This beautiful energy that you've created here today. This energy that's so alive within you dances so freely around you as you're here having gratitude for this gift that you've given yourself this connection of your mind your body your spirit your breath together as one and as we think about that intention gratitude one more time bringing that person or that thing that you had with you at the start of class back into your heart just letting them one more time put a smile on your face let those lips turn up we have so much in our lives to be grateful for. And sometimes we forget about that, especially in the challenging remote, challenging moments or the moments maybe we didn't get what we wanted, get our way and we're feeling frustrated. But there is always something that we can be grateful for or someone. And if we shift our perspective and our focus on that, then it does help to change the perspective of the world that we see around us. Just keep this with you here today and as you walk throughout the rest of your day. I thank you so much for being here, for sharing your light, your energy with me, and allowing me to share mine with you. Namaste.